Okay, when it comes to planning a wedding, the right location can provide the perfect backdrop for memories that will last a lifetime. Something to consider a historic building or home with personality. After all, who doesn't want to say I do in a beautiful space that has stood the test of time itself? That's right, and here to tell us how to do that in style is uh, Tam Stone of Tam Stone Interiors. Tam, thank you for being back here. Uh, you've been here for about six years <laughs> as kind of our interior design expert, and now you've kind of moved towards doing wedding design. What kind of has decided? Um, it's my husband's family home, so we've had it for 15 years. Cool. I ran it as a bed and breakfast 15 years ago, and ultimately, there it is. Yeah. Um, it's white. It's kind of like ideal for a wedding. Oh, you know, yeah. It's all white Perfect. and then deco glamorous or whatever, but I remodeled it because I wanted to open it up to the community and have a, a unique space for weddings. We did it as a bed and breakfast, and this time I jazzed it up. I started putting plans together in October. Started demoing in January and mm -hmm. we opened in June. Wow. So, yeah, quick. I kind of, I, I basically made it one of my interior design projects. So, and boom, then, boom, boom, knocked yeah, it out. Knocked it out. Knocked what it do out. you see in, in the wedding trends? Uh, how do you see them evolving? You know, I, I look back to when we got married in 2006, and even just the five years since then, things have changed. So, uh, how do you see them? Uh, you know, what are brides looking for? What are those tastes that are evolving here over the last several years? Yeah. Um, you know, really, probably the biggest indicator is Instagram and Pinterest. Oh, yeah. I mean, now we, everybody kind of wants to have that Instagrammable Pinterest ready wedding. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what we've done with Chateau and what I see is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right. That's our bar. Isn't that wow. fun? Yeah, yeah. So instead of pulling up to a bar with a skirted, you know, banquet linens on it, we've got, you know, zebra wood veneer and steel banding and circular. Um, I love I love the zebra wood and the dark wood. Yeah. yeah. And that's the lounge behind. So after oh, you wow. grab your cocktail, you go, you know, grab a seat there so it's it's like a real it's a real event space like a uh, you know like a, a restaurant or something like mm -hmm. that um, this is a great image from Love Tree Studios with a uh, you know set up for a bridesmaids luncheon but what what ultimately what I'm seeing happening in the wedding industry is people want to have something unique for their wedding mm -hmm. but um, a destination wedding is not you know if you maybe can't go to Napa or you know the logistics and expense of going to the Caribbean so we have that opportunity for something really unique really so special Right here right in Missouri, here. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, a, a standard ballroom or some of the more typical venues yeah, you see around. Yeah, not your just normal reception hall or something. Yeah, like that. right. Something you don't see that bar everywhere. Cozy. Yeah, right? <laughs> good. That bar was fantastic. Now I'm sure your interior design uh, background has really kind of helped uh, designing that venue. What specifically did you have to take in consideration when you were when you were working on that redesign there of the house? Yeah, I brought some pictures here of our bride suite, and so I really oh, focus wow. on ultimately what how the space is going to be used. So in this this right here. I know how to use performance fabric, so actually all of that raspberry velvet that you see there is something that you could spill wine on and it just comes right <laughs> off. Yeah. Um, just simple things like having the mannequin. My daughter actually designs the runway collection for Michael Kors. They had their runway mm -hmm. show yesterday. And I, I just texted her. I said, hey, what are your mannequins? Because I wanted to put a wedding dress on a mannequin, not hanging on a, a hanger for a picture yeah, or whatever. Yeah. The, um, you know, the bar stools here that are used for our makeup stools are original to the home. I had them redone in performance fabric. And then we set up a, a sweet vignette like you would have in the home for all the refreshments during the day and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then I didn't forget the um, mother and grandmother of the bride. Yeah. So they've got comfortable seating. So this is not just a, a brown bag space that's been kind of rubberized so that you mm -hmm. can wash it off. It's really designed for living. But I know how to use those fabrics. I design country clubs and sorority houses and stuff like that that have commercial use requirements but need to feel like residences. Now you had mentioned those bar stools in there were original to the house and mm -hmm. how else have you kind of incorporated the history of this house into what it is today? Yeah, um, you know, I think that in some instances people will be interested in the history of the house, particularly if they're local, but maybe not if they're from out of town. Yeah. And so um, this image here actually is our uh, library. It's the pass-through from the entrance to the home into our ballroom and the, the doors are closed to the ballroom right it's now. It's a dynamic blue on the walls there, yeah, isn't it? Cool, kind yeah, cool, kind of fun, right? I like yeah. It. But that, that um, bookcase there is where we put all of the history of the home. Oh, we, cool. You can't see it. Um, it. We don't have it in this image yet, but we have drapery that go across that. So if the bride doesn't want that, mm -hmm. it, remember the wedding's about the bride. It's oh, yeah. about the couple, not about us, not mm -hmm. about the house. And so we've set it up so that um, you can 
you know, not have that there if you don't want it. But yeah. if it's of interest, it's there. Um, we also, in addition to having the home be like that, we also have dedicated, we have a dedicated staff person for the entire day of the wedding just for our bride to be that the bride's attendant that day. Yeah. So we have the design as well as the service. And cool. it's a different experience. Well, the house looks fantastic. and I'm a big sucker for Kansas City history anyway, so I would have loved to keep that wide open. If we could redo our wedding, yeah. definitely have it there and keep the cat the <laughs> curtains open. So, well, Tam, thank you very much for yeah. bringing us and sharing that house with us. How neat of that. That's Great. very cool. Thank you. All right, Belinda, over to you.